What's going on YouTube? Day back again and today we're going to be taking a look at a light that I was sent to do a review on and this did end up coming off of Amazon. It's from BenQ. This company actually reached out to me um, just before the wedding and I hadn't had a chance to crack it open until after the wedding. I've been doing, using it for, I don't know, about two weeks. In fact, a couple of the videos that I've already done and posted up and some of the instruction videos were actually filmed just using this light. Now, as some of you know, I have some bigger lights that are above me and around me and they're what mini painters end up using a lot. And they are a three bulb fluorescent, uh, true daylight is what they're advertised as. They're not a nice white bright light. The problem with me is um, power consumption, which isn't all that much because they're fluorescent lights, but they put off a lot of heat. And a lot of lights that I have in here put off a lot of heat. So I've been trying to reduce that heat impact, especially come winter time when it's hard to crack open a window and things like that. Or, you know, I don't want to crank down the AC during the summertime and just to cool down this room where the rest of the house is freezing. So I was kind of interested and I said, sure, send it along. Now this is an LED light and it has some cool features. It's made for, what would you call it, eco reading. It has a sensor that it adjusts to the brightness in the room for the brightness um, and gives a proper color for reading. Um, I know that they advertise like this white, like you see right here is not uh, conducive for reading. It's just uh, too bright and it's hard on the eyes where a softer yellow. Um, I have some tungsten style over here. They are LED. And one of the things I like is this has a multicolor, so you can go from that tungsten yellow warm to a bright white like these are. It does come in a nice big box, um, and there's only, what, I think three parts that end up coming in here. And they have some uh, advertisement stuff on here and information about it. One of the things is it's shaped in an arc, or the light is in an arc, so where instead of like these, you get I kind of like this angle, you actually get a wider angle. It sweeps out and it's consistent all the way through. I found it really handy for painting, for building, and just for general use. In fact, enough so that even though this one was sent to me for free to review for you guys, I actually purchased another one for downstairs uh, for using around the couch. That's come in pretty handy. Now I did come with an instruction booklet and I'm not gonna go through all that. It's pretty simple and self-explanatory. And as you can see, um, here we have it. It does fold up a pretty compact. And like I said, it comes in about three parts. You have the head part here with the arm. You have the base, which this is pretty heavy. I don't know what they put in here, but it weighs about eight to 10 pounds. It's heavy in itself. So be very careful. Do not drop this on your foot or it will break it. No questions on that. I do have one small critique and I don't do reviews like other people do. They'll save all the critiques to the end. I like to do it while it's fresh in my mind. I don't script out being dyslexic. It, it's kind of hard to have a script because you can't freaking read it. But one of the things is it has a pin on here that goes into the base. There is a screw on here. Now, you can screw that down and lock it down, but the problem that I have for my application is having it on the desk and be able to swing it around. With it tightened down, it only gives you about this much room to swing it around, where I like to be able to move it out to here and move it around, and you can see I'm kicking it on and off, but that's one of the things. You can tighten down that screw just enough to catch it, but do not try and pick it up by the arm it's not gonna end up working. It comes with this nice heavy duty braided cable. And of course I've got it plugged in. It's got a plug that this cable plugs into and it's about six feet long. It's nice heavy duty. Uh, I would say it's a lot like if you own a razor product, it's gonna be a lot like that cable. It's gonna be heavy duty. Your cats might like it though. They might try and scratch on it. So I have some things over here just as backdrop. And this is kind of my backdrop that I've wanted to use for filming stuff and I haven't yet but this will give you an idea. I have some white tissues over here. I have some yellow resin pieces. I have resin, I have plastic, I have the head. So I wanted to give you guys a good, you know, idea of what this is going to end up looking like. I tried to do an Instagram video with it uh, on my phone and the phone adjusts the color. So no matter what I ended up putting it on, it looked the same. All of the reviews that I ended up seeing on YouTube for this was for 
well, computer work and computer desks and reading desks. And the company actually, the reason they reached out to me is they thought it would be handy. They've seen my videos and all the different lights and they thought it would be handy for hobbyists and modelers, uh, artists to use other than just using it for your computer. Um, and I really like that. As you can see, I think they make a couple different colors in this. This of course is the white and the brush silver on here. Uh, it's got the BenQ branding on here. It does have touch sensitivity and that's how you end up turning on. So you just touch it. Right now I have it already on reading mode and it's actually adjusted up a little bit brighter since I have all these lights on in here. To put it on reading mode from any of the other lighting uh, ways that you have on here, all you have to do is hold your finger on the ring little LED is going to kick on there and it's going to self adjust. As you can see, that's what it's reading as the optimal new brightness. And even at that, I can see in the monitor over here that is actually looks brighter than it actually is. And right now it's kind of a warmish, uh, warmish color, not fully warm, but it's a warmish color for the arm up here. You have a lot of adjustability like there's pretty much nowhere that you can't put this up on the head up here. I want to be careful not to turn it on and off on the head. You do have a ball head. So if you're doing videos of your own, you could do this probably up a little bit and then would give you a good side light, good face light. If you need to see adjusted, it's actually brighter than these guys over here. So one of the things I want to show you how you adjust it out of the reading. All you have to do is turn this knob that's up here and you'll put it back to the original setting that you had it. So what we have it on is the brightest white, which I think goes up to 5,600. I think that's why it registers. And then it has a bunch of notches. And as you go through the notches, it's going to change color to the warmer. And I don't know if that's going to come through properly on the camera, but I'm hoping so I'm looking at the monitor and that's part of the reason that I had the white over here. But as you can see, you get almost that tungsten color and that's how you end up changing the color temperature. Now to change it, uh, as far as the brightness, all you do is push the button and then you can adjust the brightness. What I've done and I'm kind of dark, but I've actually turned off all the lights except for the LED lights that are up over there, just so you guys can see me. But what I've done is I've turned off all the other lights. The only other light is uh, from the computer monitor over there. And I wanted to show you, you can adjust the brightness. This is the brightest and this is on the warmest color all the way down to about there. And this will give you a gist of what it's going to end up looking like. And then if you want to change the color temperature, they'll give you your white and well, let's make it all nice and bright. So as you guys can see, It does give everything a nice color on there and let's just go to reading and it's self adjust. I like that. I like it a lot. So do I have any cons about this? Um, for my application, the only one con and it's just, it's just myself personally is that the notch on here, I wish, um, on the peg that goes up, the notch went all the way around instead of just a flat spot on there for that screw to go in. And that's just so that I can adjust it around. I've had it sitting over on the hobby desk and what I end up doing is I set it on there and then I put my stream deck on there and I put my, uh, a small paintbrush holder on there and just a couple of small things on there. And it makes it really handy just as a base. It, it doesn't, it, you don't lose space using this base. You can put things on there. I like that fact. Uh, a lot of lights and things like that, they're tripod based or there's some kind of decoration and you can't stack stuff on there. They do have an attachment that you can add to clamp onto desks for that to go onto. I think that's handy. I don't need it, but it's there. And like I said, I think what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to end up using this a lot more over here and knock down these bright lights. Um, cause 
I don't think I need them. I don't have to crank up my ISO on my camera. Uh, I don't have to squint my eyes and I don't have to go blind by having these big LED panels in front of me. Uh, I think both cost efficiency and brightness and just eco in general, I think these are gonna, this is gonna work out for me. Now, one thing I do have to say, this isn't cheap. I would get it on Amazon instead of their direct website, uh, which is binq.com, I believe. You can buy them directly from them. They are pricey if you buy them on there. It is cheaper if you get them on Amazon. And there is usually, when I've clicked on the site or clicked on the Amazon link, there's usually a $10 off or 10% off or something like that. Um, click and save coupon thing on there. So definitely take advantage of that. But I think generally, if I had been able to get this, instead of the two LED panels. I mean, the LED panels that I ended up getting were, I wanna say um, both together were 120. And then these lights, these fluorescent lights that I've been using, um, they were 110 each. So I have about $400 in lights just right here um, that I think I could have saved myself some money and a lot of space by just doing this instead. Again, like I said, it's not for everybody, but it might come in handy for someone. But if you would like more information on it, click the link that's going to be down below. It'll take you to the Amazon page. It'll give you more information about the company and also the product itself. I like it. And with Black Friday coming up and the Amazon Prime Day or whatever, I'm sure that this will get knocked down even more. I, I want to thank BenQ for sending it to me. I, I appreciate that. Uh, I ended up picking, like I said, I ended up picking up another one and I have it downstairs in my living room uh, and on the table down there. And it's been really been handy as usual YouTube. I want to thank you guys for hanging out. I will see you guys in the next video. Definitely stick around since the wedding's over. We're going to have resin and uh, we're going to have some more unboxing reviews. I ended up switching my, uh, audio board and everything. And that's why I haven't had a video because I found I shot, I got all in the mood and I shot like five, six videos and there was double speak in each of the videos. Uh, yeah, it's annoying. So I had to trash all five of those videos. Um, I have the, uh, I wanted to say master grade, uh, Tieran. I have the Tieran sitting over there. I have a couple of Zaku's to review and I have all my resin that I want to get cranking on and some tips and tricks and things like that, that I want to get out for you guys. I will see you guys all in the next video. Thank you again. Peace out, YouTube.